Hello guys, in this video I will show you an interesting quick example of grouping the data in Eloquent for something like this. So I received this email, so I didn't invent the situation. So for example, if you have these three tables and this is the result that you want, which is basically grouping by calculated condition, which means you need to group the transactions by car, which is okay, car has a name, but also you need to group that by the year of created ad, like this. So from that date, you should extract year, and that would be second grouping parameter. So it's not just group by two fields, but one field plus calculated year of the second field. How do we do that in Laravel? I've recreated that project. So in the database, we have something like this. So transactions with created ad, then cars, and then categories. And this is the query. So this is a query builder query. So we're building the query and then we select raw data because we need to have year calculated here. And that's why that all becomes raw string. And then if we assign that calculated value to alias of transaction year, as well as a few more aliases here, we can use that aliases in group by raw. This is the essential thing in this video. So the result of that visually is this table or a list in fact. So in the blade, if we click that blade in transactions for each loop, those aliases here, category name and transaction year, also some formatting for the number, but this part is pretty simple. The most complicated part in here in this code is probably that group by row and a few more joins, but they are not complex at all. Also, one more thing to notice is query thing, but I'm using that only for readability quite often, because if I don't use that query, this select row will be on the same line and this is much less readable. You would probably agree. So let's get back to that and I have a separate video about that query thing and I'll link that in the description below. But basically what I wanted to show you in this video is this group by row. So you can perform any query of your MySQL or your database engine, then assign the alias and you can use that alias in group by row below. What do you think? Would you do it the same way or you have other suggestions? Let's discuss in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.